having a bacon sheet with four. Get off me. Why are you on me? It was just hair, y'all. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. I'm thinking meatloaf is just meat and loaf. This is giving meat, egg, cheese, bread, loaf. Who did this? Who did this? There's so much yelling going on. I'm gonna get a noise complaint. I'm game. Simmer down. Simmer down. <laughs> See now you're doing it. Thank you. All right. Um, for the girls that don't know, I can't cook. Allegedly, allegedly, like you know. So today we are making our first adult grown-up meal. Today we're making mashed potatoes, meatloaf, and some steamed vegetables. Cause you know I'm on my real skinny queen, real skinny queen. Hold on, hold on. Is it giving the girls skinny? Am I skinny yet? Anyway, you know the girls been eating healthy, you know we trying to lose some weight, you know we trying to get real nice, fine for the summer, cause you know, I will be in the streets. That is a promise. Right, I found this recipe on Pinterest or whatever. I have the ingredients out for the meatloaf, but we just gonna, we just gonna get to doing what we need to do as we progress. I like that for us. All right, I've never made meatloaf before. So it's going to be different. Yeah, but it's gonna be real healthy, real cute for the girls, real cute for the um, digestive system. So let's get into it. At one, preheat the oven and line a bacon sheet with four. Get off me. Why are you on me? It was just hair, y'all. I didn't mean to do that. Just the stove, y'all. My bad. The bacon sheet at. Oh, found it. Which one? Which one gives meatloaf? It's, it's this one, right? Is there a video? I feel like it's this one. This gives this gives meatloaf. An ad? Really? Oh my god, this is really getting irritated me. Girl, I just wanna know what pan it is. Why is it loading? <sighs> Life is better with an iPad. I don't know who, I don't know. That's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to know which pan to use. Okay, we're using the big one. So I was, I was right, I was right. This one gives the girls like meatloaf energy anyway. So, yeah. They look like I got foil in here cause half y'all can't even spell foil, so. No, I got it. I got it. I mean, oh. yeah, yeah. Hold on. Thank you. Doesn't have to. I did great. This is great. I'm doing great. Okay, that's step number one. Okay, preheat oil, large pan, and all the ingredients for the meatloaf stir until well combined. Okay, let's get into it. Okay. For said meatloaf, we need organic ground beef or ground turkey. Um, I I told myself I wasn't gonna eat red meat no more. So this is ground turkey. Even though I hate ground turkey like with a passion, it's so disgusting to me. But it's okay. No, sometimes you gotta get real. Sometimes, you know, when you when you're trying to eat healthy, sometimes it's gonna taste really bad. But the thing about it is, are we eating to live or are we living to eat? Exactly. Thank you. Okay, one pound, this is the pound, yeah, 12 ounces. Okay, one pound, ground, okay, one pound. Okay, put it in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, one pound, done, one egg. Y'all, I don't know if it was me, but someone someone broke into my house and busted all my eggs up. When I find you, best believe it's up the stuff. On, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Someone really came in here and busted up all my eggs. Who did this? Who did this? I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling the kids next door. Okay, this one ain't all. You would think I used the broke egg, but like I'm kind of on protest because I'm kind of mad about it. So why did I use the broke one when I didn't break you? Please don't put no, ooh, please don't put no shell in here. Ooh, ooh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a bit anxious, I'm so sorry. I wanna wash my hands with my iPad. Okay, I'm gonna just move you here. Wash your hands when you use raw meat. It's important. All right, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. I miss the old Drake. Where did 2015 Drake at? Okay, 
egg, of course, cup almond milk. We got this unsweetened almond milk straight from the uh, straight from the mountains of Walmart. So let me get my measuring cup. I thought I got all the clink. Cheers. Okay, I thought I one fourth. You know what's crazy? One fourth is not marked on here. We gonna do a half of a half because that's what they taught me in math. Uh, oh. Okay, one fourth a cup. That's ah. There's so much yelling going on. I'm gonna get a noise complaint. I'm game. Simmer down. Simmer down. See, thank you. Okay, half of a half. Thank you. There we go. That's that's half of a half. I feel like, yeah, half and half. Wait, this one's the meatloaf, right? Okay, I had to double check. That, okay. Okay, that, okay, we're right. Put milk in it. Why would you put milk in meatloaf? For the ones that can cook, do y'all normally put milk in y'all meatloaf? This is feeling real complicated. Okay, what do we need? We need a half a cup of almond flour. Where's my half a cup? Where's my half a cup? You're telling me I didn't, I really did not pull out the half a cup. I have one fourth, one third, and a full cup, but I didn't bring no half a cup. And it's right here. How embarrassing. You gotta shake it, shake it, level it out, level it out. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying here? Boom. I don't, when did you put flour in meatloaf? I'm thinking meatloaf is just meat and loaf. This is giving meat, egg, cheese, bread, loaf. One third cup onions diced up. I don't like onions, so I bought the pre-diced. Can all be found at your local Walmart, period. And y'all should be proud of me, to be honest, because I literally went grocery shopping for y'all. Oof, 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 oof. The onions is onioning. They is, they is. Uh, onion in. I'm in there, like swimwear. Oh, these stink so bad. Like, I don't, oh, I'm like that made me mad. Half a teaspoon of hot sauce. We got Frank's, you know what I'm saying? Hot sauce in my bag swag, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, um, okay, come open. I'm gonna just pour it over it. One teaspoon Italian seasoning. I'm gonna just do me. I'm gonna just do me. You know, they don't always get the seasonings right. So sometimes you just gotta do you. I'm gonna be honest. Before I like started cooking for real, for real, the only, okay. you wanna be difficult, that's fine. Girl! Girl! Before I started like, um, I didn't spit in the food, y'all. I, I didn't spit in the food. We good, we good, we good. It's still the lick. This got a little fault to it too, all right. Before, I started like looking at recipes. The only season I had in here was like salt, pepper, and like garlic powder. And I even used the garlic powder. But today, it said half a teaspoon. I'm just seasoning it with love. I'm gonna just season it with love. That's a lot of love. That's a lot of love. It, that's a lot of love. Okay, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Again, we just gonna season with love. Yeah. That's enough love, that's enough love. I put way too much Italian seasoning in this. It's still gonna taste good. It's gonna be a little Italianized, revolutionized. It's gonna taste good, I'm serious. Two tablespoons of parsley. I'ma just do me. How you open this? Who made this? Oh, wait. When I go to the dentist tomorrow, they're gonna be like, girl, stop opening this up with your teeth. Sir, I'm gonna do. Oh, it's just open. It's just open. There's no shaky, like, okay. So, how much two tablespoons? We might actually just, okay. We might actually follow the instructions for this one. Where is it? One, t I pulled it out. Am I tripping? I'm not tripping, bro. I literally had it. Oh my God. This is not. <sighs> anyway, how many? Two tablespoons. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shake it, shake it, put it in there, shake it, shake it. That's it. That's all the ingredients. Parsley. Yup, 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 yup. Okay. Into a triangle. Okay, wait. Large bowl. Add all the ingredients to the meatloaf. Start to well combine. We gonna be real, real ghetto real quick. I'm gonna go get some gloves. And I'm finna manhandle this. Give me like 12 seconds. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. What is Patrick saying that one episode of SpongeBob? Don't touch me. I'm sterile. Period. Just call me Dr. Anya. Dr. Love. Girl, ain't no love in there. Ain't no love. Are my hands clean? They're clean enough, I feel like, we're good. I'm not dirty, I just feel like that sounded real dirty and I'm not. Okay, meat, loaf, stir to what combined. All right, <sighs> oh, gross. Ooh, this is nasty. Anyway, how have y'all been today? How are y'all living? How are things going for you? Me personally, you know, I've been doing well and attempting to go to the gym. I go, 
I ain't been in the last like two days, but I be going. You know, I'm trying to eat better, obviously. Been cooking. You know, I stopped eating out, kind of. I'm, I'm doing better. I'm, I'm telling you, the skin is glowing. I need to reorder my Curology stuff. But you know, we're doing well. Okay, everything is mixed up. This does not look good at all. Um, y'all, this, 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 I don't, I don't know. I'm, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna put on the pan. Um, I'm gonna grab the, hold on. I'm gonna grab the pan. I was like, maybe I should with the camera, but like my hands are gross now. Put in a nice low flow. Y'all cannot see what I'm doing because you are in the way. I don't, okay, um, move with your elbow. Okay, hold on. Uh, move you and then move, oh God. Move this over here. Red hot, Frank, you're my shot. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm gonna try to move the camera. I'm just, I'm gonna just touch it like this and move it back. I'm gonna touch it. That's good, that's good, that's good. This is a hot mess. Okay, I'm gonna move you over here. Okay, this, I, this, I feel stupid. I feel stupid. I'm, okay, I'm not, look. All this may have, been, may have been a terrible wreck. This looks really good though. I really did my thug fizzle, period. Okay, uh, ugh. Hold on y'all, I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. Hold on, boom. Tell me that is not no perfect loaf loaf. Like that, that is some stellar cooking right there. Who said I couldn't cook? Worry about your man and what y'all gonna eat tonight. Not worry about me, cause we eat good over here. Now I'm about to put in the oven. Y'all don't look at my butt. Stop. Stop. Ah! Just a little hot. It's a little hot. My bad. It's a little hot. Oh shoot! It slid. I'm sorry. I don't know why I just panicked. Okay. Um. How long? 45, 55 minutes. Okay. Um. Ah! My towel. We're gonna do like the in between. Alexa, set a timer for 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Starting now. Thank you. Okay, now on to the mashed potatoes. So, we're trying to, I was, okay, so of course I'm a genius. So when I went grocery shopping, the recipe for mashed potatoes, it was like, it's a yellow potato. And I was like, okay, cute, cute. Please tell me why I got the little mini potatoes. So I really sat here for a good 35, 45 minutes peeling each of these little tiny potatoes. And now I'm about to cut these up, put them in half, and boil them. So, y'all don't want to see that. That's boring. But I just wanted everyone to know that I'm stupid. I'm stupid. But it's okay. It's going to taste good regardless. I'm about to saute these. I'm lying. I'm about to boil them. I'll let y'all know when I'm done cutting and we boiling. I'll be back. I'll be back. We got the potatoes. Zinc, can you see them? We got the potatoes right here. They boiling and they water. I don't know why I took off the stove. That's stupid. They need to cook. Okay. The meatloaf is done. Uh, for, mix, for safety. Pause for dramatic effect. Because you know that woof of the air. Does this look done, y'all? Yes? I think like five more minutes. I don't want to burn it, but like five more minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Thank you. Okay, now we are on to the steamed vegetables. I bought these vegetables like a month or Sundays ago. But it, it just seemed like the right time to cook them. So, girl, how you cook this? Hold on. Let me sit y'all down while I figure out how to cook these. Microwave, stove top. I guess we're doing a stove top. Empty contents into a bag, saucepan, add one cup of water. Cover and cook over medium heat for 12 minutes, stirring occasionally. Stir well and serve. I think we're gonna do this after we make the mashed potatoes. I just feel like that's like the, yeah. Cause I don't want, yeah, I don't wanna make this and then just, this just be sitting around like while the mashed potatoes stuff are cooking. So I'll let y'all know when the, when the potatoes are ready to get smashed and passed around, but yeah. Not sponsored, although it should be. <laughs> Great value. Follow me on Instagram, no. Nah. <laughs> potatoes is potatoing, okay? And, and the meatloaf has meatloaf. All right, it look a little funky. It look a little funky, but it's not about the look. It's about the taste. Delicioso. So, why you flip up? Okay, thank you. What do we do now? We strain it. Um, What do we do that with? I don't have a strainer. Yes, real ghetto, shut up. Okay, first let's turn this off. I'm doing a really good job right now. I really am. I'm going to strain it. Wait, am I supposed to strain it? Let's read the instructions. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I lied, I lied. Alexa, 
Stop. Okay, let's read it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it says drain potatoes. I was right. I don't want to make mashed potatoes. Duh. Are you dumb? Ditsy. These just look good. I'm just so... I'm so mad about that. Okay, next on the to-do list. I feel like y'all are really high up. Okay, drain, evaporate, remove from heat, add chicken broth, butter, salt, and pepper. Mash until smooth. All right. All right, let's do what we got to do. Okay, come over here. I'm lying. No, we're going to go over here. Lie. This is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. We need a fourth of a cup of chicken broth. Why did I pull the ingredients out? Maybe because I only need like three. Okay, 1% milk. Ugh. Okay, hold on. I don't drink dairy milk. You shouldn't drink dairy milk either. So I just saved someone's life just now. Don't drink dairy milk. Chicken broth, I don't know what that's supposed to do. Butter, hold on. Again, this is plant-based butter. Stay away from dairy. Salt, pepper, hold on. Oh no! Oh, it's fine. Salt, pepper, chives. Hold on. Okay, one fourth of a cup of chicken broth. Again, it, it really, it stops at one half. So half of a half is, girl, look. Ugh, I'm never, I don't know, I'm never, I don't know. I know how to make mashed potatoes, but like when I looked it up, this recipe was said to be better, like healthier. So it's not given healthier. <laughs> it's really not. Okay, a third. Oh God, okay, we have, we have, God, we have two thirds, we're gonna do half of that. So a little over a half. That is too much milk, but that is yet good enough for me. Thank you. Okay, then uh, one tablespoon of butter. Hold on. One tablespoon of butter. One tablespoon. We just gonna dip. Is this dirty? I mean, I'm, I, I'm the only person that lives here. Okay, tablespoon plant-based butter. So you wanna be like that. So you, so you want to play like that. You're getting in here regardless. Okay, butter, salt, pepper. Again, we gonna season this motherfucker with love. Love, that's love. We gonna sprinkle this in there. This is love too. Get you, get you somebody that can cook. Not me, but you know, somebody that can really throw down in the kitchen. All I know is my future man is gonna be so impressed with me. He's gonna be like, wow, Shade, you really be in the kitchen. I'm like, yeah, you see me? Like, come suck these toes, but you know, not too much. Come on. These stink. Chives stink. Ooh, they, ugh, I'm about to sneeze. And this little shaky thing, he sucks. Do I have a potato masher? We're finna check. All these utensils and I ain't got no masher. Hilarious. Girl, what am I supposed to mash this with? Can I use this? What am I supposed to mash with? I don't have a masher. We gonna use this whisk. How you got a whisk and no masher? Like this is... Why do I feel like it's working? Why is it working? Y'all, it's working. It's working. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. How do I get the, okay, so I'm gonna just push it out like this. They smell good. I like it, I mess with it, it smell good. Okay, the whisk was good for a sec. I got this too, so really, I need to buy a potato masher. I don't have anything, like I'm just not built to cook for real. Ooh, 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 eh. Hold on, oh, I think I did really well. Like this looks really good. It's a bit watery for my taste, but I like it. It's a bit watery, we're gonna go back to the whisk. All right, girl, these things, ooh, creamy for the girls. Hold on, creamy for the girls. Ooh, creamy. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was free like me? All right, we're done. And I said I couldn't cook. Holds me, holds me. All right, last but not least, we got the uh, vegetables. Yeah, 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 yeah. So come with me and you'll see how well I cook inside this pan. It's best to dump the whole thing inside of this, inside. dump the whole thing in the skillet. Then it said add a cup of water. Hold on. All right, boom. Oh, am I, what? It didn't even say what temperature to put. Oh, well, we just gonna assume a cool three and a half is cool. Then we're just gonna pour the water, get a nice little spatula. Yeah, yes ma'am. Yes, that's nice. See, now it's cooking, it said like 12 minutes-ish, 
and then it should be done. I'll see y'all in 12, 12 minutes. Chef Boyardee in the building. So guess who's done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I told you guys before, whatever, I'm meal prepping or whatever to, you know, try to eat better and womp, 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 womp. And pretty much, when it comes to, like, eating healthy and stuff like that, I feel like my whole, like, my biggest issue is I just never feel like, I don't feel like cooking every day. So, I was like, maybe, like, if I try it, we'll see what happens. And it actually does help me a lot with, like, overeating and, like, all of that, all of that jazz and stuff like that. Um, I had meal prep, uh, breakfast, lunch, uh, my snacks and stuff. Early like two days ago, but I just didn't do dinner because I forgot to leave the ground turkey out to um, thaw out. So that's why we're doing it today. And I was just like, oh, I want to do a cooking video. So, you know, it's like killing two birds with one stone. But we are done, so I'm going to show you guys the masterpiece. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ugh, delicious, delectable, delicious, delectable. Okay, she's a little broke. Mind your business. Delicious, delectable. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, girl, real cute. We did our due diligence. Mind you, I cannot cook. So for me to be able to do this, you know, you know what I'm saying? Real, real magical. So yeah, I'm gonna put three of these in the fridge and then we're gonna have a little taste test. Even though I'm low key not hungry, but I wanna eat now because I don't plan on eating for the rest of the night. So I just want something on my stomach. Get us through, get us through the evening. Bon appetit, bon appetit, hold on. Hold on. If I step y'all back and I point it down, is this better? I like this for us. I think, I feel like we're real intimate right now. Okay, let's go. First up is the meatloaf. I'm a little nervous. Why I look white? She's cute. She's not bad. I think the sauce, y'all didn't see me make it, but I made some sauce. I think the sauce on the top really gives it a nice, como se dice, flavor, but yeah. The mashed potatoes is on point. They did the thizzle, they did they due diligence. Whoever made this recipe needs to be eaten front to back, back to side, side to north, north to west. Cause this was something, these mashed potatoes was something, this is, hold on. That's something, that's some godly. Jesus, Jesus put his foot. Nah, I'm playing, I put my foot in these. Yeah, this is good. Okay, last but not least, the vegetables. You gotta have your veggie tables. Eat right. It's a bit hot, it's a bit hot. I did it, I did that, I did that. I would just like to thank Pinterest um, for all the recipes. I'd like to thank Walmart for these, for these frozen vegetables. And I'd like to thank me for, uh, for cooking up a storm. I did my thing, I did my thing. But yeah, yeah, hold on. That's water. Y'all need to get some get some water. All right. Anyway, so yeah, it's like it's like seven seven. It's almost seven thirty at night, and we started cooking like three. We've been cooking for like four hours for what? Cooking for four hours for what? To make to make three three things. I don't care. I did my thing though. I did my thing though. Yeah, but um, <sighs> that's just my wrap today's video. This was a chaotic mess. Are we surprised? We shouldn't be. But yeah, I think we did great today. Um, that's just my wrap today's video. Um, don't forget to create your own happiness. And I will see you next time I decide to make a a full course meal, a full course meal in front of y'all very eyes. Yeah, yeah. Bye, I love you. Mm.